once again uh, today i will start a very interesting topic of mathematics of class 11th particularly for icc board that's name one set theory that's name is set theory we have to discuss in this video mainly about set i think uh, it is a very familiar word for everyone i think in uh, in everyday life mostly we use this term in many cases such as a set of pens a set of books a set of pots or <coughs> a set of glasses means that it is a very common word which is used in day to day life but what is the importance of set in mathematics is set same as usual which is studied in mathematics is it same as day to day life no in general way while we use set it is quietly different to mathematics set which is relevant to mathematics is quietly different to day to day life set firstly i want to define set what is set it is defined as it is defined as or you can write it is well defined collection of distinct object it is well defined collection of distinct objects firstly if you focus in definition of set you observe there are two important words in this definition first will be well defined and second will be distinct what is the meaning of well defined here and distinct i think distinct means that not repeated distinct means that not repeated while well defined well defined means that becomes equal for everyone this is a uh, explanation by my side well defined means that becomes equal for everyone while distinct means not repeated now i want to take some examples by which we will understand what is the meaning of well defined and distinct suppose that i want to take set of vowels set of vowels what set of vowels in english alphabet first i want to write it is well defined collection of distinct object it is denoted by capital letter capital letter of english alphabet english alphabet alphabet for example a b c d right definition of set now here i have taken an example in which we said here in which i have said you a set of vowels in right here set of vowels in english alphabet suppose that this set will be a in this case which be, uh, which members comes in this set which members come in this set definitely you will write as small e suppose that we will take a small uh, symbol a e i o u there are five vowels so i have taken 
these five entries or these five members of this set because there is mentioned set of vowels as you know that in english alphabet there are mainly five vowels now if you care on definition there are two terms well defined and distinct is it a set is it a set or not firstly see here well defined means that it becomes equal for everyone suppose that there are two three person uh, suppose that x y and z there are three person and i have said to each other sorry i have said to everyone collect vowels of english alphabet definitely x y and z everyone told a e i o u everyone will told a e i o u means that it becomes equal for everyone now here next will be distinct is it distinct is it different not repeated in this set does there exist any element which is repeated no every element is different to each other so it is a set so it is a set i think you understand now i will again take some examples but i want to firstly rub this definition uh, and take next example next example will be suppose that i want to take set of first five natural number what will you say what will you say set of first five natural number let that set will be a in that case you definitely take 1 2 3 4 4 5 5 set of first five natural number will be 1 2 3 4 5 as you know that for everyone a become 1 2 3 4 5 5 if you ask from anyone the means with anyone uh, you have to take uh, you have to uh, take a uh, a uh, five first five natural number definitely he takes one two three four five and as you know that in that in this case in this set all elements are all entries are different that means not repeated so it is a set it is a set now i want to take next example for you top uh, collection of best six cricketer collection of six best cricketer suppose that this set is denoted by s can you write or can you take Six best cricketer. Six best cricketer. No, you can't take it. Why? Because this word "best" is not defined. Suppose that uh, for one second, suppose that you take uh, uh, Kohli, Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul. एम एस धोनी सचिन तेंदुलकर सपोज दैट आई एम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट विल बी वाशिंगटन सुंदर सुंदर देर आर सिक्स I have taken here six cricketer, but is it correct? Is it uh, does it fall set? No, 
it doesn't form set. Now I want to explain it why this is not set. There is simple reason. Kohli, maybe Kohli best cricketer for any uh, any particular person. But for every person, Kohli is not best cricketer. Rohit Sharma is not the best cricketer. Suppose that in India, in India, some persons uh, select definitely uh, Badrinder Mekulam, Mekulam. Uh, another person Chahal maybe the, the different person for uh, other person maybe different person cricketer so in that case it is not well it is not well defined because this that means this set is not equal for everyone it doesn't become equal for everyone maybe choose other person uh, other cricketer Maxwell uh, Jason Dawai, any cricketer may choose it. So I suggest, I suggest you before saying about any collection, does it form set or not set, check out reputation of elements and does it be well defined or not. This is the way to define set or understand set. Similarly, so you can write a region uh, for this question. You can write a region since best cricketer is not well defined, it may be, it may vary with person. So collection of six best cricketer is not a set similarly i want to take next example similarly i want to take next example for you in next example collection of Collection of most uh, collection of five most beautiful girls. Does it form a set? Suppose that I have taken a. In general, way, definitely uh, uh, any person, children, uh, Bollywood uh, actress or Hollywood actress. But it is not necessary. Uh, always person like Bollywood actress or Hollywood any or South actress. That means it is not necessary. So you can tell me most beautiful girl is not well defined term. For particular person maybe uh, may like other person in general like person. But uh, so I always suggest you most here most beautiful girl is not well defined term. So collection of five most beautiful girl is not defined. That means it is not a set. I think you understand. Now it is your definition of set. Now next term in your books uh, there is given representation. Next topic will be entry. That means elements of set. Elements of set. As you know that set is defined as collection of elements, collection of entries. In that case, elements of set means that particular, that means suppose that you can take a member of set is called you, you can write elements. It's called elements of set. set. It is denoted by a small letter of English alphabet. It is denoted by a small letter of English alphabet. For example, suppose that I have taken 
collection of five vowels in that case it becomes a e i o u similarly if i have taken next example of collection of those english alphabets which uh, a collection of those first five english alphabets which is positioned which positioned at even position that means as you know that english alphabet will be a b c d e f g h as like it places at one it places two it places three it places four it places five so you can see that b d f g b d f h g this file b d f g and h are elements of required set here you observe that elements of set b is represent, represented by a small uh, written as a small letter now one of the important symbol this symbol is here this is a symbol of epsilon epsilon greek word and its meaning what does it represent in set i want to explain it actually this is epsilon but it is rarer but it rarer belongs to in general when belongs to belongs to for example suppose that a b is a set having entry b d f g j that means having elements small b small d small f small h small j definitely you can tell here d is an element of b similarly f is an element of b similarly g is an element of a, sorry h in uh, h is an element of b but you see here always to write as a sentence as a that means as a sentence mathematically sentence it is not correct way can i write as a symbol yeah there is a very famous symbol for it d belongs to b this represent d is an element of b it is read as d belongs to b or d is contained in b you can also read as D is contained in B, but in general, where you read a very very D belongs to B. Similarly, you can read here also F belongs to B. Here you can also read H belongs to B. This is the reading way of this symbol. This symbol is read as epsilon, and it represents particularly elements of any set. Have you understood? I think here you can tell U is elements of A. That means U belongs to A. O is belong O is an element of A. So you can tell here O belongs to A. I belongs to A. E belongs to A. This is the usual meaning of belongs to. Now I want to take represent next topic representation of set. Representation of set. Representation of set. How can we represent any set? There are mainly two methods. First, will be roster or tabular form, and second will be set builder form. Representation of set means that, as you know that in the in the uh, in previous chapters, as that means in previous examples, I have taken some example. A set set A is a collection of uh, 
first five natural number then i have to retain arrow a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, all and uh, all and entries are written under uh, um, brackets that means braces and each element is separated by uh, comma but i want to ask to you are there any other methods is there any other methods by which we can represent it suppose if there are infinitely many elements there are or you can tell me suppose that there are 200 elements 200 elements and i uh, told you i told you you have to write all elements that means you have to represent this set suppose that i have uh, told you you have to collect all those even number which la which is greater than 2 but less than 100 how can you write you write 2 4 6 8 10 12 40 60 18 20, 22, 24, 26, but it is a very complex for you and time lossy. So I will suggest, suggest definitely you will, uh, uh, you will think is there any other method by which we can write directly or in very compact form? Here, this is written in set builder form and first will be roster and table form. Uh, I have uh, not explained about it, but uh, uh, before I, uh, let me see. Uh, I have already taken all examples which is in form of roster tabular form. Further, I want to explain about it. Tabular form. What is the meaning of tabular or raster form? Right here. In this method of representation of set. We list, we list all elements within the braces and each elements are separated by comma. This is the way by which we represent any set in tabular form or roster form. Suppose that I have taken an example. Collection of first uh, braces in place of braces we can write curly bracket. Collection of first five natural number. Suppose this set will be in that case you have to take firstly you will have to take firstly a bracket curly bracket under which you have to list all elements within the brackets one two three, four, five and separated by comma. This way is called tabular form and roster form. This is nothing only you have to uh, 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 write elements that means list elements under bracket and separated, separated by comma. This is the tabular form or roster form. Now I want to take second methods which is called set builder form and a very nice method that means uh, uh, it is very famous method very famous in mathematics everywhere we mostly use this method not uh, tabular form because uh, there is no enough space I will always uh, try to save my times so I don't uh, uh, very less time we use uh, tabular or roster form. I will always use set tabular form. So uh, learn this method. In this method of representation of set, set we take an arbitrary element of set and arbitrary element 
of set and uh, in this method we take an, uh, an arbitrary element of set and an arbitrary element of set and observe its property observe its property finally and finally write with colon or such that this symbol is generally called a such that uh, uh, observe it's a, not a such that symbol rather it is such that and uh, observe its property and finally write it uh, write with this symbol what is the meaning of this way in this method of representation we take an arbitrary element of set why do we take an arbitrary element of set there is simple reason there is simple reason to take an arbitrary element of set sometimes a given set is a particular set having every element same kind of property having every element same kind of property so we take an arbitrary element suppose that i have told you you have to do, we have to take first five positive natural uh, positive natural number which is divisible by 2 definitely you will take 2 4 6 8 10 and if you see here there is a unique property of all these elements to be each element is divisible by 2 so you can take any element suppose that we take here for that set we take x is an element which is divisible by 2 and this is greater than 1 but less than 10 why because this is the property of that element each element which line that set thereafter so i have taken arbitrary element this is not necessary you can write always that means you can take always arbitrary element because sometimes uh, in set all elements are not same nature same behavior so in each case you can't i will again uh, explain it first in the and observe its property i have explained and finally write with colon or such that's it and uh, thereafter you will take uh, and exam uh, you will take this property and write with colon suppose that i have taken an example i always take same example collection of first five natural number how can you write in statement form as you know that first five natural number in first five natural number next number is always obtained by adding one and that means all elements are similar kind why because each element is obtained by adding one to preceding term in that case definitely suppose that that set will be a and each element belongs to natural number so can i suppose that uh, i have taken an element x which is a natural number which is a natural number but there is a proper condition first five natural number can i write it x such that x is equal to x x is that x is a natural number is a natural number or you can write x belongs to natural number and x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5 this method 
to represent a set is called set builder form. This method is called a set builder form. You can observe here all these acts are that means in this method you utilize only property of that set and listed all these elements here I do not listed all these elements simply I have written this is the standard or sign you can tell about it this is the scientific way to represent particular set but the, it is not necessary you can always uh, write any set in set builder form it is also not necessary you can write set of all elements in set builder uh, sorry uh, roster form or tabular form have you understood suppose that this is a uh, set builder form uh, again i will take other examples collection of first Five positive even numbers. Suppose that this set will be B. In that case, we take a proper element, that means a particular element, arbitrary element of this set, such that x is equal to 2k plus 1. And I have written here collection of first seven numbers definitely you will take first positive or first five positive even numbers definitely you put a k is equal to sorry two k k is equal to one k is equal to two k is equal to three k is equal to four k is equal to five k, uh, k is equal to six k is equal to seven now this is the way by which you can represent the collection of first five even number that will be x and that x is equal to 2k where k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. If you miss, put here k is equal to 1, 2, 2 k is equal to 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, 2, 4, 8, 2, 5, 10, 2, 6, 12, 2, 7, 14. And all these are elements uh, which are first five event numbers of uh, first five positive event numbers. Have you understood? This is a collection of first five positive event numbers. Have you understood? And this method to represent this set is called set builder form. And it, it is completely scientific way. Uh, you know, while you try to write any set uh, in set builder form, firstly, observe element, property of elements of set only. Then after it becomes very easy. Because you have to take an arbitrary element uh, and utilize sign of colon. Thereafter, you have to write a property of those elements. Only it becomes complete. Have you understood? Now I want to take next definition term for you. This is the way. Now I want to take next definition for you. What is the next definition here? Now we discuss with you kinds of set kinds of sets. First will be empty set. Empty set. A set having no element is called Empty or null set. It is denoted by phi. That means right is by this way phi. It is denoted by phi. Now I want to take some example. Collection of those natural numbers which is greater than one but less than two. You have to take collection of those natural numbers 
which is greater than 1 but less than 2. Can you write any entry in this set? No, it is not possible because natural number will start uh, be, be start from 1, 2, 3 and 4. But it says to you, you have to write those natural number which is greater than 1 but less than 2. As you know that if you take a real number line, here 1 and 2, then after we take 3, then after I will take 4 as a natural number. I have mentioned a natural number, not a real number. In that case, after 1 and before 2, there is no any natural number. So, there is no any elements in this set. So, it is an example of repetition. It is a fact. Similarly, I want to take next example. Collection of boys students in girls college. Is it possible? Is there, that means, is there any student who has studied, that means any boy student who has studied in college girl, sorry, girl college? No, it is not possible. So, it is an example of empty set. Similarly, I want to take another example. Collection of, it is very good example, and I will, you will definitely remember it. Collection of X which satisfy x square plus 1 is equal to 0 where x belongs to be you know. Collection of x which satisfy x square plus 1 is equal to 0 and x belongs to be you know. Does there exist any x for which it satisfies? No, because as you know that here I have taken x square plus 1 is equal to 0 that implies that x square is equal to minus 1. There does not exist any real number which the square will be negative. Because I have already told you, uh, real number means that the square will be always positive. But here you see, x square is equal to negative. And I have already, uh, already mentioned in this question, x belongs to real number. As you know the definition of real number, that number whose square will be positive is called real number. So, there does not exist any uh, real number for which x square is equal to minus 1. So, it is an example of empty or null set. I think you understand it. Again take
having finite number of elements is called finite set. You can take ever mentioned example, but still I will write another example for finite set. All these are clear from its definition contained word. Now I want to finite example of finite set. For example, a is equal to x such that x square minus one is equal to zero, and x belongs to real number. Definitely, its value will be what? When x square minus one is equal to zero, in that case x square is equal to one. If x square is equal to one, so x will be plus and minus one. That means one and minus one. Have there existed only two elements which satisfy this equation? So it is a finite set because hey, in this set there are only two elements which are finite. Contour, so it is a finite set. Next will be x such that x minus one into x minus two into x minus three is equal to zero such that uh, sorry, where x belongs to zero. How many elements exist here? For which it does it? Uh, for which it satisfies? Definitely, you will tell x is equal to one, x is equal to two, x is equal to three. There are only three elements in this set which satisfy this equation. So it is also a finite set. Example of finite set. Now I want to take an example of infinite set. Infinite set is set having an infinite number of elements is called infinite set. Now I want to take an example. Now I want to take an example of infinite set. Collection of natural numbers. Collection of whole number. Collection of Real number. What can you tell about it? All these sets contain the infinite number of elements because natural number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, dot, 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 that means up to infinitely. So, a natural number is in having infinite set. Similarly, whole number is having also infinite set, uh, infinite elements, and the real number having also infinite elements. Now, I will discuss next example and uh, next definition term cardinal number. Number of elements present in set is called cardinal number. Is called cardinal number. Suppose that age is set having A, E, I, O, U. There are only five elements. What is the cardinal number of set? It is sometimes denoted by uh, it is written under double vertical mark, or it is sometimes it is also denoted by by this symbol. But uh, by this symbol, but it is not written. In general, it is written under double vertical mark. This symbol represents cardinal number of this set. You can write it. It is denoted by bar, or it is also denoted by under double vertical bar or uh, and. A. And it means number of elements in set A or number of elements of set A will be how? How many elements? 5. So cardinal number of this set will be 5. Cardinal number means that number of elements present in set is called cardinal. It is very easy. Now, I want to take some examples of this exercise. First example will be a state whether the statements. Collection of competent teachers in Delhi is a set. That means collection of competent teachers in Delhi. Does it form set or not? According to given statement, collection of competent teachers. Competent means that 
एबल टू टीच और अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वालिटी सिंपली देर मैनी टीचर्स मे बी फॉर पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इट इज a competent for that person maybe for other person suppose that there is a person a b c d it is very excellent it is a, uh, very excellent it is also very excellent it is average uh, uh, e it is a poor person in that case definitely some teacher suppose that there is a teacher x in that case a x teacher definitely will be very normal for a because a, a itself is a very talented student in that case this teacher is not very competent similarly b so for a uh, x may be not competent for b x may be not competent but e and d is very poor student in that case it becomes that means teacher x becomes very competent for d and e so it is not well defined that means here competent teacher is not well defined term so it is not a set right next will be i don't like to write completely next will be write the following Sets in roster form. Write the following sets in roster form. It is as very easy. Uh, next question will be write the following sets. See here, following sets in roster form. First will be uh, a is equal to x such that x belongs to natural number and x is greater than four but less than or equal to ten. How can you write? It is very easy. If the uh, completely says two, you have to collect natural number which is greater than four. That means five, six, seven, eight, nine. But less than or equal to ten. That means up to ten. Similarly, uh, in this next question, it is said to you, uh, uh, set H which contains X. X is a letter in the word. X is in is a letter in the Word arithmetic arithmetic. You have to collect all those words which is present in this word. So definitely you will take all those elements a r a r i t h m e c. Why do you take it as like it? A R I T H M E. Uh, I have not again take T because I have already told you in the set any element is not repeated, so I have not taken again T. I have already taken T. I have also taken already, and I, up, thereafter I will take here C. All these elements are listed. Next will be third. X. Uh, B is set x such that x belongs to natural number and x square is greater than five but less than fifty. Which elements lie in this set? Definitely you will take a collection of all natural number uh, which x square is greater than five but less than fifty. Uh, by in, by by your intuitive idea you can choose uh, suppose that x is equal to one one square one doesn't lie in this interval. Uh, two two square four doesn't lie again in this interval. Three that means it doesn't lie in three. Which is going to be nine? Which lies in this interval? So first will be three. Next four. That it is. It also lies in this interval because four is called sixty. That lies uh, between five and fifty. Five. It also lies. Six, seven. But it doesn't lie in this interval. Why? Because a square of eight, which sixty, uh, which is beyond in this set, doesn't lie in this set because it always take those value of x, which a square lies between five and fifty. That means greater than five but less than fifty. Now, similarly, I think you can solve all those all these problems. Uh, I take this question number seven. Uh, seven. I think this is good. All these problem problems are very easy. Take example four first day. In this one, example a is equal to x. X belongs to integer and x square is less than twenty. X square is less than twenty. 
definitely if you take here it says to you have to take all integer whose square is less than 20 as you know that whose square is less than 20 definitely it is greater than square will be always greater than 0 so firstly to x is equal to in the here it is said that x belongs to it says that x belongs to integer 0 firstly take uh, minus 4 why do we take here of minus 4 because minus 4 is the whole square will be 16 which is less than 20 I have not taken minus 5 why because if you take minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 in that case it becomes uh, 25 is greater than uh, less than 20 which is not possible so I started from minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 up to 4 all these are elements of this set which satisfy this condition you can take any elements and that's why you get this is correct for it. Next example 5 uh, a is equal to s x such that x is a solution of x is a solution of x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. It is also very easy uh, since x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 that implies that it becomes x minus 3 into x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 uh, 3 and minus 2 that means this sheet can be written in tabular form 3 minus 2 it is also very easy next will be 7 x that x is a 2 digit number it says to you x is a 2 digit number such that the sum of its digit is 9 uh, Sum of its digit is a sum of its digit is divisible by nine. Divisible by nine. Sum of its digit is divisible by nine. That means you have to choose all those two digit number which is divisible by nine. Definitely that number will be uh, this set is noted by a. Definitely, you will choose all those numbers which is multiple of nine, and it become uh, and which two digit. Definitely, you will eighteen. That means nine also come, but I have not taken nine. Why? Because in this example, it says already you have to choose only two digit number. You have to utilize only uh, divisibility rule. That means eighteen, cut twenty seven, thirty six. 45 These all numbers of two digit and divisible by 9 Now and which sum is divisible by 9 Next problem will be See here. See example three. It is also very easy. Uh, you have to convert it into a roster form T. T Q is equal to T. T belongs to R. How can you say? It is very simple. Firstly, solve this equation. Tq is equal to 2. That implies that Tq minus t is equal to 1. 0. That implies that t into t square minus 1 is equal to 0. That implies that t into t plus 1 into t minus 1 is equal to 0. So, from this equation, t is equal to 0, t is equal to minus 1 and t is equal to 1. So, you can say that d contains only 1. 0, minus 1, 1. These are three elements of this set. This is a Develop from again take a second example e is equal to x such that x minus 2 divided by x min, uh, x plus 3 is equal to 3 where x belongs to 0. Simply you have to solve this equation. After solving, you will get your correct answer x minus 2 by x plus 3 is equal to 3. That implies that x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 
9 after taking uh, this term addition this term will just get minus 11 is equal to what 2x so x is equal to what minus 11 by 2 so in this set only 11 by 2 is the required element of this set so that is only minus 11 by 12 is an element of this set so this set can be represented in terminal form by this way next example will be third uh, which set is denoted by f and I say to you x is at x to power 4 minus 5x square plus 6 is equal to 0 where x belongs to real you have to convert this set builder form into table form how can you solve simply firstly solve this equation how can you solve solution firstly solve this equation according to problem this is given as this that implies that can you write it x square uh, I want to write directly if you wish I want to factorize it minus 3x square minus 2x square plus 6 is equal to 0 that implies that x square into x minus 3 minus 2 into x minus 3 uh, x square minus 3 is equal to 0 that implies that x square minus 2 into x square minus 3 is equal to 0 so either x square minus 2 is equal to 0 or x square minus 3 is equal to 0 so i want to write it x square minus 2 is equal to 0 or x square minus 3 is equal to 0 that implies that if you take x square is equal to 2 definitely x is equal to 1 plus minus root 2 and if you take x square minus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 plus minus root under 3 in that case set f will be what minus root 2 root 2 root 3 and the minus this is an example of this set now instead of this set now i want to take next example for you uh, example 4 see here i want to have this example all these are very easy for you example 4 let it t is equal to x says that x minus 5 sorry x plus 5 by x minus 7 minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 40 by 13 minus x it is an empty set in this question it says to you you have to check is it a empty set or not justify how can you solve in this question it says to you is it empty set in which condition you can say about this question that means this is an empty set where you couldn't get any solution of this equation first i want to solve it uh, as since x plus 5 by x minus 7 minus 5 by 1 is equal to 4x minus 40 by 13 minus x that implies that after taking lcm you will get x minus 7 after dividing x plus 5 minus uh, 5x minus 35 which will be 4x minus 40 divided by 30 minus x that implies that in here you get minus 4x minus 30 sorry plus 4, 30 divided by x minus 7 which will be 4x minus 40 divided by sorry there is a 40 uh, can you take here negative one common you get here x minus 30 now if you uh, take negative sign here and cross multiplication you will get x minus 30 into 4x minus 40 is equal to 4x minus 40 into x minus 7 if you take in left hand side what will you get you will get x minus 13 into 4x minus 40 into 4x minus minus 4x minus 40 into x minus 7 is equal to 0. If you take common up from whole expression 4x minus 40, you will get x minus 30. Here you will get minus x minus 7, that means minus minus x minus minus plus 7 is equal to 0. In that case, here x minus x cancel and you get 4x minus 40 into minus 13 plus 6 that means minus 6 as a multiplication which will be 0 so x is equal to what 10 because when it goes in RHS it becomes in it will be in division and 0 by minus 6 will be 0 and you get 4x minus 14 is equal to 0 so 4x is equal to 40 so x is equal to 40 by 4 that means 10 
In that case, you get x is equal to 10, which will be an element of this x. So, can you tell here only exist only one element of x is equal to 10? So, it is not an empty set because in empty set there exists no any element. I have already told you in an, an, in an empty set there doesn't exist any element. I think you understand very well this question. Now, I want to take for you next example. See here. In the next example, example five. See here. If y is equal to, it is a good answer question. If y is equal to x, such that x is a positive factor of number, is a Positive factor of a number 2 to the power p minus 1 into 2 to the power p minus 1, where 2 to the power p minus 1 is a prime number. Write y in a roster form. How can you write? According to this problem, 2 to the power p minus 1 is a prime number. In that case, what can you tell about it? What can we tell about it? There doesn't any factor of prime number. Suppose that I have taken an example uh, 10 into how many factors of 10 into 3? Definitely you will take firstly factor of possible factor of 10. Thereafter, you will take a, a multiplication that means product of all. For example, if you take 10 into 3, here 3 is prime as like it, 2 to the power five, uh, p minus 1 as like it, 3 is a prime number. In that case, uh, how many uh, Factor of this number definitely you will tell factor of possible factor of 10 and product of factors with 3 means that 1, 2, 5, 10 and product of 1 and 3, 2 and 3, 5 and 3, 10 and 3. These are all possible factor of 30. This is the way by which we can. Uh, Find all possible factor of the L like this. So I want to write. Can I write here possible factor of two to the power p minus one into two to the power p minus one is equal to firstly L like this. You have to ignore this term. So I want to ignore this term and put value of p one by one and put value of p one by one. If you put value of p one by one, in that case you get suppose that I have put I have put here p is equal to one. In that case you get two, two to the power one minus one. That means two to the power zero, which will be one. If you put two to, uh, p is equal p is equal to two, you get two to the power two minus one. That means two to the power one. That means two. Similarly, you put two to the power you get two to the power two, two to the power three dot 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 two to the power p minus one. Up to this term. After put and then after as I did, you uh, you have multiplied one into this term, two into this term. Similarly, you have to write here uh, one into this term that means two to the power p minus one. Again, next term will be two into this term, two into this term. Can I write here? Uh, again, write here uh, two uh, two whole square into two to the power p minus one. All possible factors. These are the answer of this question. Have you understood? <laughs> Not more complicated, only simply you have to think about this problem. Now, we will take example 6, uh, next pattern problem. Write the following sets in the builder form. You have to write all the sets in builder form. First, we will be 
then counting numbers which are multiple of 6 and less than 50 right here the counting numbers which are multiples of 6 but less than 50 how can you write definitely i will take n, uh, n arbitrary element suppose that x is an element such that now we have to see here only property of this set what is the property of this multiple of 6 but less than 50 means that x is equal to 60 multiple of 6 but less than 50 where k is equal to but less than 50 don't it? k belongs to even value natural number take natural number here k belongs to natural number or you can uh, but less than 50 and uh, he says to you you have to take multiple of 6 definitely you will take k belongs to natural number <laughs> Because in this question it says to you, you have to take multiple of 6. Multiple of 6 means that if you divide by 6 in that number, you get remainder 0. So in that case, x is equal to 6k. Multiple of 6 between 6 into 1, 6 into 2, 6 into 3, dot dot dot. Definitely it is the form of the 6k. So I have taken k. Next problem will be the fraction whose numerator is 1 and whose denominator is Continuing number less than 10. That means, first we write question. The fraction whose numerator is 1. Whose numerator is 1. And whose denominator is. And whose denominator is is counting number less than 10 i want to tell you again counting number means that natural number be careful about this the fraction to the number, uh, numerator is one definitely you take one first thing and it says to you take in denominator those number which is counting but less than 10 first we take 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 because 1 2 3 all these numbers are counting number and also less than 10 so you can take 1 by 4 dot 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 up to 1 by 10 these are those fraction whose numerator is 1 but denominator is less than 10 and counting numbers this is the form of uh, check to the form uh, only I have written it in tabular form. Now I want to write in set to the form x such that x is equal to what n by n plus 1. You see here it is nothing. If you take n is equal to 1, then you have to take n is equal to n plus 1. That means 2. Now in this problem, see here the fraction numerator is 1 and whose denominator is counting number less than 10. Counting number less than 10, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means it is nothing 1 by n, where n belongs to natural number. And n is less than 10. If you put n is equal to 1, you get 1 by 1. If you put n is equal to 2, you get 1 by 2. If you put 1 uh, n is equal to 3, you get 1 by 3. Similarly, if you put 1 of, uh, n is equal to 10, then you then you get 1 by 10, which is which belong uh, which belongs to this set. This is the actual meaning. So the fractions with number is, numerator is 1 and whose denominator is counting number but less than 10. This is the set builder from notation. Now I want to take again next example for you third the set of all positive integers whose cube is odd the set of all positive integer whose 
crude is over there. It is also very easy. It says to you, suppose that that number is x, which is cube is odd number. Definitely, that number can be expressed as two cube plus one odd number. Be that means uh, those numbers which can be expressed as two cube plus one, where they belong to natural number, it is come in the odd number set. So it is form that means the set of all positive integers whose cube is odd will be x that x equal to 2k plus 1 where k belongs to natural number. This is all those real numbers where x is a cube of positive integer. Now I want to take here uh, next example for you 4 in which the 1 by 2 see here. 2 by 3, 3 by 4, dot, 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 9 by 10. You have to express this set in set builder form. It is nothing. If you see in each fraction, you will get a denominator is a just greater than 1 of numerator. 3 is greater than 2 by 1, 4 is greater than 3 by 1, 10 is greater than 9 by 1. So it is form of that x is such that x is equal to n by n plus 1, where n is equal to 1, 2, dot, 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 9. This is the notation, that means this is a set builder form of notation of this set. Have you understood? Now you can take Next example for you, uh, five. Example five for you. Example five is equal to given that b is equal to five b. Uh, five b is equal to one. 1 by 4, 1 by 9, 1 by 16, 1 by 25. It is nothing, it is just like here. x says that x equal to 1 by n square, where n is equal to natural number, uh, n belongs to natural number, and n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have you understood? Now, uh, Finally, we'll, I will take an example 10, which is a good question for you. If S is equal to X such that X is a positive multiple, this is the positive, you can write as a number, a positive multiple of 3, but less than Hundred and p is equal to x such that x is a prime number less than twenty. Then write n s plus n p. Is equal to what? You have to write ns plus np. That means ns plus np is equal to what? Firstly, rub above part. <coughs> Sorry, by mistake I have one minute. If x that x is a positive multiple. Of three, uh, but uh, multiple of three less than hundred. First, I want to hear it. says to you, you have to find number of that means n s plus n p means that number of elements in s plus number of elements in p. Firstly, I want to write s in tabular form yeah, such that I can count the number of elements in s. Here it says that the x is a positive multiple of three up to hundred. Multiple of 3, that means 3, 3, that means you have to write table of 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 3, 9, dot, 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 up to 99. Why do we take 99? Because maximum number is 100 and you have to take less than 100, so which, which will be 99. And P, which is equal to, uh, 
x is a prime number which is less than 20 definitely you will take 2 3 5 7 11 30 17 19 in that case, number of elements in S is equal to number of elements in S is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, 90, up to 99. But you get suppose that by using uh, arithmetic progression you can find, but there uh, there is another method. Uh, suppose that I have taken here 12, 15, sorry. Here you say 3, 6, 9, only multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to which number? Tha? Up to which? 33. So number of terms you will how? 33. If you couldn't understand, you can solve by arithmetic progression. A is equal to 3. Common difference will be what? 3. Nth term is equal to what? 99. As you know that nth term is equal to what? Formula. A plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 99. A is equal to what? 3. D is equal to what? 3. Can you write 3 plus n minus 1 uh, into 3 is equal to 9, 9, 99. So n minus 1 into 3 is equal to 96 is so n minus 1 is equal to what? 32 so n is equal to what? 33 you can solve this and the number of elements in p is equal to what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so ns plus np is equal to what? 33 plus it is equal to 41 see here why do we not use in this problem arithmetic progression formula? simple reason and it is not in ap it is in AP. Why it is in AP? Because the common difference in, uh, between two terms always will be constant. So it is in AP. But here you see that there is no fixed common difference. So it is not in AP. So I have not used here uh, uh, this formula, nth term formula. Simply you have to count here. You can also count here, but you have to write each and every element 15, 18, 20, 21, 24, 27. I think uh, today uh, this class is over for you. Uh, it becomes uh, to one hour ten minutes. In the next class, I will again discuss a uh, next topic of set theory, in which we we will discuss mainly about equivalent set, subset, power set, universal set. Thanks all of you. Bye.